Morning everybody. It's a icy day here at Sparkle Farm. So it's actually not too bad out right now. But uh, you can see I put my traction cleats on on. It's just ice everywhere. Cars are covered, drives covered. Figured I'd give these things a shot. Uh, haven't worn them in a while. But it's icy, I thought of them, so we put them on. Honey's out here with me. <laughs> and, uh, but we're supposed to get some, last video I said that we're supposed to be getting some crazy weather coming in. You know, nothing to be afraid of or anything, but it's always nice just to get uh, things put away before things get buried in the snow that you don't want to so that's what we're gonna work on uh, yeah it's we're supposed to get down into uh, the low teens single digits at night I think coming up this weekend so a lot of things just need to be straightened out and handled but uh, nothing nothing overwhelming honey and I'll get that taken care of today and that's what we're gonna be working on all right, I'm in the shop, and if, I don't know if you can hear that. That's me walking around on the concrete, still with my cleats on, so I don't want to chew up the floor. Not that I think it would do a lot of damage, but I'm more worried about making it slick in here, walking around on the cleats, so they're gonna come off, and we'll get to our projects. All right. 40 degrees in the workshop. I'm not gonna fire up the wood burner today. It's just too many outside projects going on. But one of the things we're gonna start with today, being that we're supposed to get some snow, and um, there's a term that uh, if you've been in like the roofing business or anything, it's called ice damming. So what we're gonna do here is put some heat cable up on our roof in one area where it's not as uh, steep. And it's just last year at this time, we got some ice damming going on. Luckily our house wasn't be done being remodeled. So the water coming in didn't do any damage, but we're done with Sparkle's Kitchen uh, in that area. So I don't want any troubles. So even though there's a little bit of snow on the roof, we're gonna go up there and we're just gonna lay the uh, cables uh, where they need to be and I'll get them plugged in. Cause with the snow we're supposed to be getting and the cold temperatures, that's pretty much how the ice damming cycle starts. So we got these, let's get our cable and we'll get that straightened out and then head up there. All right, so this is my heat cable. This is a couple of them all, to, all together somehow. They didn't take the move here very well. So we're gonna get them straightened out. And I'm not sure if there's two or three in here. Well, let's just start. Some big old bird's nest in here. Ugh, it's hard to do this with gloves. I guess I'll just be a little cold. So 
So it turns out we just have two. They seem to be 100 footers. I'm gonna finish uncoiling this and I'm actually gonna loop them nicely so I can actually use them again if I have to, but we're only gonna install one of them. One should be plenty for the area we get need to cover. Big, big loops. I'm sure you can't even see this in the background. So I'm pulling it up and over the roll bar on the board. So hopefully it'll get some of the kinks out of it or winding out of it. So I still got my mess, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got some chunks of solid wire and then that'll keep it from getting all twisted. All right, so I just added some solid wire. Now it's actually holding it into some, in some sort of loop. So now I can hang it up and it just won't turn back into that rat's nest. So you can, do it again with this one down here, and then we'll get up on the roof. Okay, this is gonna be definitely a lot safer to work with up on the roof. But let's uh, put some wire around this one so I can actually carry it around safely. So since I'm outside and it's been uh, below basically 30 degrees for the past week, um, we've had some nice sunny days where it's might have gotten a little bit above it, but uh, oop, pond's not ready for skating just yet. But that was just the edge. Um, you can see like right there, uh, we're getting so close. I think with the snow we're supposed to get, not so much the snow, but the cold temperature, uh, we'll freeze the pond thick enough to skate on. I know that'll make Sparkle super happy, but if we get too much snow, that actually doesn't help us because then it puts a blanket over it and doesn't let the pond freeze as like hard. So we want the snow, we like it, but we also want it to freeze a little bit more so we can actually get up here. Like, I'm a little nervous that Honey's just gonna decide that she wants to be across the pond and I don't know how to get her out if she fell in. But uh, yeah, it's getting there. It looks to be good inch thick or so. We like it to at least be two to three to skate on it comfortably. You know, you know that's just our guideline. There's no, we don't know any right or wrong with it. Uh, just thicker the better. Um, if we hear cracking, we get off. But uh, yeah, so right in that circle there, that's about eight, nine feet deep. And then at the edge, right where I'm standing, the little dock here, like that's not even a foot. So it's pretty, it goes pretty fast to the center. Uh, we believe this pond was dug out when the property was uh, originally developed, you know, back in the 60s, we think. Uh, so, hey, come on. Uh-oh, come on, come on, come on, off the ice. Come on, 
Come on. All right, well, we know it holds 60 pounds. All right, I got it. Come on, girl. Come on, honey, come on. All right, that's bad. Oh, crazy dog. I don't know, don't dogs know? But those aren't, aren't those uh, like sled dogs? She's nowhere near a sled dog. All right, well, we're getting away from the pond so honey doesn't go near it anymore and it can keep freezing. Uh, any input on uh, skating ponds and how to tell if it's safe? Uh, you know, add it to the comments below. We want to be safe here at the farm. Um, just because it's most of the time just Sparkle and I. And we want to have some family over skating, but we want to make sure it's safe for everybody. So, any thoughts on that? Uh, you know, put it below. Thanks. All right, so I think I got up here a little too late. So see this right here? This is like an inch of ice, inch and a half of ice. And then up there, that's where we have all the ice damming. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna crawl up there and I'm just gonna actually lay the wire up on it. And uh, I'm not really gonna be crawling around on it. It's like, it's not steep enough when it's dry. I could probably ride a bike on this. So, I'm not too nervous about getting up there, but um, yeah, definitely needs to be done. We'll, we'll for sure have problems if we don't. But I'm gonna get the heat tape up and just kind of throw it in place. And if I have to, I'll lay a couple bricks to hold the wire uh, where I want it. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. All right, let's get to it. All right, so right here. That's a good uh, two inches of ice to the main part of the roof. So I'm just gonna kind of throw the cable around on it and uh, we'll get this starting to melt. Oh. I don't think my coiling up job did a very very helpful. Was very helpful. I don't know how well this is going to work. Well, looks like I'm going to have to go get the clips and dig it out a little bit and get it strung up nice and tight. Because you want it, you know, coiled up like this. Doesn't help. All right, let's go get that those pieces parts. All right, so I just brought up a broom and I got the clips. So I'm gonna sweep off what I can. And then uh, just with my fingers, scrape down through the ice and get this up here. Cause like from here, this is the edge to about here is where we get all the ice damming. So if I can get that straightened out, We'll uh, call this a big old win. This is what we have going on so far. 
Got to fix that. Well, it's good to know that the uh, dogs are prepared for any kind of intruders from the roof. They are going wild inside. They, I think they hear me walking all around up here and sweeping the roof. So hopefully that's not bugging Sparkle too much. <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. Ooh, that is, uh, I wonder if we did this a little too late. Definitely would have been about uh, a few hours easier than uh, if I would have just done this last week. Oh well, we're here. Let's see what we can get done. So I ran it across the one edge where the plug is down below. So I'm actually going to go plug it in. And as I'm running it, we'll be able to hopefully see if I'm putting it in a good spot. So I'm going to be working backwards. I plugged it in and now I'm just going to be working it all the way through and then where I finish at the very end, that's as far as it goes. Alright, let's get to putting it in. Now that I have it plugged in, we'll see if stuff starts melting. I'm going to leave loops at the bottom and I'll probably end up putting a board here or some bricks or something. So one thing about ice damming, you don't want to bang on the roof. Um, it's frozen, you know. Yeah, these are asphalt and, you know, 80 degree day. You can bend them in a, in a circle if you wanted, but with these kind of temperatures, uh, they just get brittle and you'll just make holes in your roof. So you're defeating the whole purpose. But it's nice. They are nice and warm.
so that upper one went in nice and there and just kind of making a loop and we'll just keep going back and forth Whew. starting to get a little chilly out but while working I got hot so I took off a layer now I've slowed down because I'm at the end I'm getting cold again but I have uh, the heat tape up you can see it's already melting a little bit so that's a great sign oh, yeah this would have been way easier a week ago but I'm gonna go get a couple bricks one two three four five six bricks and I'm gonna bring them up here and put the heat tape that goes to this the roof I'm standing on where these loops are to hold them down and the water should be able to channel off and that should solve our uh, ice dam problem all right let's go get those bricks all right well I just carried seven bricks up the ladder and we're gonna put them in these loops here but I can say honestly I think the dogs even looked at me crazy carrying bricks up the ladder And that's all it's going to be. Just uh, hold the loops a little tighter and be able to make channels coming off of here. And our last brick. So I'm putting this one over here at the end of the edge of the roof. And hopefully that'll let it make a trail so the water can uh, get out. But I hope it's showing up by camera. But we've already made big grooves in that block of ice there so I'm gonna call this a win all right let's go in and get warmed up the old feet are cold had to put the jacket back on uh, we got everything starting to melt pretty good um, I'm gonna leave it on obviously but uh, I'll come back out and check on it later on today but we got a really good melt going so I think that uh, should alleviate uh, one of our problems here so I'm going to call uh, one more small project done here on our big project all right back outside without a coat uh, just the hat we got our grill here uh, it's lunchtime with the weather that we're going to be having it's supposed to dip down into the teens single digits so we're not going to be out here grilling so we like to get it in when we can so let's fire it up because as soon as we're done and it's cooled down we're gonna cover it uh, probably for at least four or five days all right Alan's prepping some uh, pizzas we're gonna grill and uh, let's get to that hi everyone we're here in the kitchen preparing our pita pizzas to go on the grill um, so I think this is going to be fun because you'll get to see the personal pan concept and just how different my pizza is from Matt's pizza. So we'll start with Matt's pizza, um, actually both the pitas, we're just going to give a light spritz with olive oil in a pan container. So I like to just get both sides. So we do a quick spritz of that and then we start to dress our pita pizzas. So Matt is a traditionalist and we're going to do a red sauce, just a standard kind of pizza sauce. Lots of mozzarella.
then we'll top that with pepperoni. the whole thing with some Italian seasoning. And that is ready to go. to come closer and see what we're up to. So I've got goat cheese, I've got some caramelized shallots. I know, you want a regular pizza too. drizzle of olive oil and a little bit of that Italian seasoning. So there you have it, the polar opposites in terms of pizzas. Um, once this is done, I'll put some balsamic vinegar on top of mine. Um, so also you see how easy this is. We've been doing this a lot. Come together in like five minutes, they grill in about another five minutes and, and they're delicious. So we'll see you on the other side once these are done. So you see, Sparkle likes her pizzas one way, I like mine the other way, simple. So we've been grilling them on our Weber grill now for a good couple weeks, uh, just having fun with that. Um, you know, it's nothing special. Just put the pizza stone right on the grill. So somewhere around four, 450. Um, being that the pita bread's already cooked, you know, you're just heating it up. And so we, I just kind of gauge it by the cheese looks nice and melted and any other toppings are cooked on top and then we call it done. So we'll show you what it looks like in just a few minutes. So since the storm's coming in, I'm going to cover up the grill. So. Ellen got me this uh, wonderful Weber grill for my 40th birthday and my father gave me a cover for it. But we grill so much that it's not worth putting the cover on but no, being it's going to be a good few days and a lot of snow and it's still a wonderful grill. We're going to open it up and once this cools down after lunch we'll put this on and tuck it in for uh, at least three, four days of uh, sleep. So this is actually the Weber brand grill cover. So it's pretty heavy duty and it's made to fit this size grill just right. So it should slip right on, but just want to open it up. And yeah, we're gonna be in good shape. Now, uh, yeah, let's focus on our pizza. All right, let me show you what we're looking for. So cheese, all the toppings are melted into it. Uh, there's no good way, you know, all preference, everything's cooked before we even put it on our pizza. So it's also always safe to eat. Honey wants to come out, but let me get these inside and we'll show you what they look like. Now I'm gonna let the grill cool down for like a good, good hour. It's chilly outside, it should be just fine, probably 20 minutes, but we're not gonna chance it with the brand new grill cover. All right, let's go eat some lunch. 
All right, so this is my pizza that sparkles. I'm gonna let her add uh, the balsamic vinaigrette on hers, and I'm just gonna cut them up. That's why I like regular pizzas. See, look, she'll never know. All right, so that's that one. These are our two pizzas, and we're going to enjoy them. All right. All right, that's us making lunch. Uh, we like to make ourselves sit down and have lunch every day together. You know, she's busy with. Uh, her stuff, I'm busy with my stuff, but we, we like doing that when we can. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get, get some tall glasses of water and we're gonna sit back and relax for a little bit. All right, it's been a good hour, hour and a half or so. Relaxed, had some lunch with Sparkle, um, grilled some pizzas and much better so I'm just gonna let this just do its thing the rest of the day and I'm gonna leave the actually leave the ladder there um, right at the edge only because if this melts like it's do like it's doing now I think I'll be able to re oh let's see what honey's doing She always wants to play. All right, just give me a minute, baby. I'll be down. So if this melts at all nice right at the edge there, I'm gonna redo all these clips down here to hold them right at the edge real nice. But this should uh, alleviate our ice dam problem. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to melt this this well in uh, hour and a half or so. All right, well, let's get to, over to the grill. So, I've been moving the clips right to the edge and having the loops hang down onto the other roof. So I think that's gonna solve our problem. Let's move the rest of them. All right, so these bricks I'm still gonna leave up here just to hold the loops down to the other roof. And I'm gonna get those all straightened out and throw off these big chunks of ice. All right, I call that a huge win. They're gonna... That's honey going to town on those giant chunks of ice I threw down. What a dog. All right, let's get to the grill. We're done up here. All right, I made sure the grill's all nice and cool. Down, this, down to where it's not even registering. Turn it off 
off the fuel. Wow, that fits really nice. It's neat, it has these Velcro pieces on the side that you just tighten up. All right, let it snow. We are, we are, uh, well, I guess we put the girl to bed. Okay, off to the next small project here on Sparkle Farm.